and it is to some extent personified by the forced mandated wearing of masks. Let's not tiptoe around the great big elephant in the room. The facts are actually not in dispute. Masks are completely irrelevant in blocking the SARS-CoV-2 virus. If you doubt that, you must watch the educational session that we've done about the myth of masks. I encourage everyone to do their own internet search and discover that prior to March 2020, there were no scientific journals that asserted that masks could keep out a virus. That's simply not how they works. A virus is one one thousandth the size of a hair. Consider what our Emperor Fauci said when asked if he's sure that masks work. Now remember, he is not new to the game. This has been his life's work for decades. There was no chance that what he said was a mistake, and there was no chance that SARS-CoV-2 is different than any other RNA virus that he has made his life's work. Dr. Fauci said, when you're in the middle of an outbreak, wearing a mask might make people feel a little bit better, and it might even block a droplet, but it is not providing the perfect protection that people think it is. And often there are unintended consequences. What the New England Journal of Medicine, a premier medical journal, had to say about masks, the following. It is clear that masks serve symbolic roles. Masks are lucky charms that may help increase healthcare workers' perceived sense of safety and well-being. Thus, although such reactions may not be strictly logical, we're all subject to fear and anxiety, especially during times of crisis. Expanded masking protocol's greatest contribution may be to reduce the transmission of anxiety. That is per the New England Journal of Medicine. I will put it plainly to you, my fellow Americans, you have been lied to by the media. Propaganda is not a new phenomenon. Thomas Jefferson said, the man who reads nothing at all is better educated than the man who reads nothing but newspapers. And John F. Kennedy pointed out that it does not matter if the propaganda had a sinister purpose. The great enemy of the truth is very often not the lie, but the myth, persistent, persuasive, and unrealistic. These days, Americans fall into three groups, those who recognize the propaganda, those who have been successfully propagandized, and those who don't care. We'll just leave them out of it for now. My message is for mask believers who have not yet realized that they are victims of propaganda and who also think it is no big deal to force other people to wear a mask. In fact, there are three enormous problems with masks. First, mask mandates are spreading fear and hostility that is changing American culture. We are less friendly, less interactive, more hostile, quicker to be angry with our fellow citizen. Masks are very socially divisive. There is mask shaming and mask virtue signaling. There's hashtag social compliance, and there's citizen policing of sidewalks and airplanes and restaurants. And in addition to hostility, masks bring a palpable sense of fear that is totally unwarranted by the facts. 